Are tortoises and terrapins the same as turtles? The terms turtle, tortoise, and terrapin are used for various members of the order Testudinas. From the Latin term testudo, meaning tortoise. In North American usage they are all correctly called turtles. The term tortoise is often used for land turtles. In British usage the term tortoise is the inclusive term. And turtle is only applied to aquatic members of the order. What causes a stomach ulcer? For decades, doctors thought that genetics or anxiety or even spicy foods caused stomach ulcers. Scientists now believe that stress and spicy foods only worsen the pain of an ulcer. The gastric ulcer itself is caused by a bacterium called Helicobacter pylori. Researcher Barry Marshall 1951, of Australia observed that many ulcer patients had these bacteria present in their systems. In 1984, he designed an experiment to determine whether there was a link between Helicobacter pylori and stomach ulcers. He consumed a large amount of the bacteria. He developed ulcers 10 days later. Ulcers are now treated with antibiotics. Marshall shared the 2005 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine with J. Robin Warren, 1937, for their discovery of the bacterium. Helicobacter pylori and its role in gastritis and peptic ulcer disease. Which blood type is the universal donor and which is the universal recipient? Persons with blood type O are universal donors. They are able to donate blood to anyone. Persons with blood type of and are universal recipients. They are able to receive blood from any donor. How are anabolic steroids harmful to those who use them? Anabolic, protein building. Steroids are drugs that mimic the effects of testosterone and other male sex hormones. They can build muscle tissue, strengthen bone, and speed muscle recovery following exercise or injury. They are sometimes prescribed to treat osteoporosis in postmenopausal women and some types of anemia. Some athletes use anabolic steroids to build muscle strength and bulk and to allow a more rigorous training schedule. Weightlifters, field event athletes, and bodybuilders are most likely to use anabolic steroids. The drugs are banned from most organized competitions because of the dangers they pose to health and to prevent an unfair advantage. Adverse effects include hypertension, acne, edema, and damage to the liver, the heart, and adrenal glands. Psychiatric symptoms can include hallucinations, paranoid delusions, and manic episodes.
In men, anabolic steroids can cause infertility, impotence, and premature balding. Women can develop masculine characteristics, such as excessive hair growth. Male pattern balding, disruption of menstruation, and deepening of the voice. Children and adolescents can develop problems in growing bones, leading to short stature. Who discovered the principle of buoyancy? Buoyancy was first discovered by the Greek mathematician Archimedes, c. 287-212 BCE. The famous story recounts how the king of Syracuse, Hieron II, c. 306 c. 215 BCE, asked Archimedes to verify that his crown was made of pure gold without destroying the crown. When Archimedes entered his bath, he noticed that the water overflowed the tub. He realized that the volume water that flowed out of the bath had to be equal to the volume of his own body that was immersed in the bath. Shouting Eureka, he ran through the streets of Syracuse announcing he had found a method to determine whether the king's crown was made of pure gold. He could measure the amount of water that was displaced by a block of pure gold of the same weight as the crown. If the crown was made of pure gold, it would displace the same amount of water as the block of gold. The principle of buoyancy also known as Archimedes's principle, states that the buoyant force acting on an object placed in a fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. What are sand dunes and how are they formed? Mounds of wind-blown sand in deserts and coastal areas are called dunes. Winds transport grains of sand until it accumulates around obstacles to form ridges and mounds. Wind direction, the type of sand, and the amount of vegetation determine the type of dune. Dunes are named either for their shape, e. G, star dunes, and parabolic dunes, or according to their alignment with the wind, E. G, longitudinal dunes, and transverse dunes. Which galaxy is closest to us? The Andromeda Galaxy is the galaxy closest to the Milky Way Galaxy, where Earth is located. It is estimated to be 2.2 million light years away from Earth. Bigger than the Milky Way, Andromeda is a spiral shaped galaxy that is also the brightest in Earth's sky. How is the value of a diamond determined? Demand, beauty, durability, rarity, freedom from defects. And perfection of cutting generally determine the value of a gemstone. But the major factor in establishing the price of gem diamonds is the control over output and 
Price as exercised by the Central Selling Organizations, CSO, Diamond Trading Corporation Ltd. The CSO is a subsidiary of De Beers Consolidated Mines Ltd. What are the functions of the circulatory system? The cardiovascular system provides a transport system between the heart, lungs, and tissue cells. The most important function is to supply nutrients to tissues and remove waste products. Which volcanoes have been the most destructive? The five most destructive eruptions from volcanoes since 1700 are as follows. How did the Linux operating system get its name? The name Linux is a combination of the first name of its principal programmer. Finland's Linus Torvalds, 1970, and the Unix operating system. Linux, pronounced with a short I, is an open source computer operating system that is comparable to more powerful, expansive, and usually more costly Unix systems of which it resembles in form and function. Linux allows users to run an amalgam of reliable and hardy open source software tools and interfaces, including powerful web utilities such as the popular Apache server, on their home computers. Anyone can download Linux for free or can obtain it on disk for only a marginal fee. Torvalds created the kernel or heart of the system dash just for fun and released it freely to the world, where other programmers help further its development. The world, in turn, has embraced Linux and made Torvalds into a computer folk hero. Why were Clydesdale horses used as war horses? The Clydesdales were among a group of European horses referred to as the Great Horses, which were specifically bred to carry the massively armored knights of the Middle Ages. These animals had to be strong enough to carry a man wearing as much as 100 pounds. 45 kilograms of armor as well as up to 80 pounds, 36 kilograms of armor on their own bodies. However, the invention of the musket quickly ended the use of Clydesdales and other great Horses on the battlefield as speed and maneuverability became more important than strength. What are the largest Kuiper belt objects and how big are they? The following table lists the largest KBOs in our solar system that are known of today. How hot is the sun? The center of the sun is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit 15 million degrees Celsius. 
The surface, or photosphere, of the Sun is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit 5,500 degrees Celsius. Magnetic anomalies in the photosphere cause cooler regions that appear to be darker than the surrounding surface. These sunspots are about 6,700 degrees Fahrenheit 4,000 degrees Celsius. The sun's layer of lower atmosphere, the chromosphere, is only a few thousand miles thick. At the base, the chromosphere is about 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit 4,300 degrees Celsius, but its temperature rises with altitude to the corona. The sun's outer layer of atmosphere, which has a temperature of about 1,800,000 degrees Fahrenheit 1 million degrees Celsius. Why are eye transplants not available? The eye's retina is part of the brain, and the retina cells are derived from the optic nerve in the brain. Retinal cells and the cells that connect them to the brain are the least amenable to being manipulated outside the body. Implantable cardioverter defibrillator monitors heart rhythms when it senses irregular rhythms. It delivers shocks so the heart beats in a regular rhythm. What contributions did John and William Bartram make to botany? John Bartram, 1699-1777, was the first American-born botanist. He and his son, William Bartram, 1739-1823, traveled throughout the American colonies observing the flora and fauna. Although John Bartram never published his observations, he was considered the authority on American plants. In 1791 his son William published his notes on American plants and animals as Bartram's travels. Is glass a solid or a liquid? Even at room temperature, glass appears to be a solid in the ordinary sense of the word. However, it actually is a fluid with an extremely high viscosity, which refers to the internal friction of fluids. Viscosity is a property of fluids by which the flow motion is gradually damped, slowed, and dissipated by heat. Viscosity is a familiar phenomenon in daily life. An opened bottle of wine can be poured, the wine flows easily under the influence of gravity. Maple syrup, on the other hand, cannot be poured so easily. Under the action of gravity, it flows sluggishly. The syrup has a higher viscosity than the wine. Glass is usually composed of mixed oxides based around the silicon dioxide SiO2, unit. A very good electrical insulator, and generally inert to chemicals. Commercial glass is manufactured by the fusing of sand, silica, SiO2, limestone, CACO2, and soda. Sodium carbonate, Na2CO3, at temperatures around 2,552 degrees Fahrenheit to 2,732 degrees Fahrenheit, 
1400 degrees Celsius to 1500 degrees Celsius. On cooling, the melt becomes very viscous, and at about 932 degrees Fahrenheit, 500 degrees Celsius. Known as glass transition temperature, the melt solidifies to form soda glass. Small amounts of metal oxides are used to color glass. And its physical properties can be changed by the addition of substances like lead oxide, to increase softness, density, and refractive ability for cut glass and lead crystal, and borax. To significantly lower thermal expansion for cookware and laboratory equipment. Other materials can be used to form glasses if rapidly cooled from the liquid. Or gaseous phase to prevent an ordered crystalline structure from forming. Glass objects might have been made as early as 2500 BCE in Egypt and Mesopotamia. And glass blowing developed about 100 BCE in Phoenicia. Which mammals lay eggs and suckle their young? The duck-billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, the short-nosed echidna or spiny anteater. Tachyglossus aculeatus, and the long-nosed echidna, Zaglossus bruigeni. Indigenous to Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea, are the only three species of mammals that lay eggs. A non-mammalian feature, but suckle their young, a mammalian feature. These mammals, order Monotremata, resemble reptiles in that they lay rubbery. Shell-covered eggs that are incubated and hatched outside the mother's body. In addition, they resemble reptiles in their digestive, reproductive, and excretory systems. And in a number of anatomical details, eye structure. Presence of certain skull bones, pectoral shoulder girdle and rib and vertebral structures. They are, however, classed as mammals because they have fur and a four-chambered heart. Nurse their young from gland milk, are warm-blooded, and have some mammalian skeletal features. Is anyone looking for extraterrestrial life? A program called SETI the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, began in 1960, when American astronomer Frank Drake 1930, spent three months at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in Green Bank, West Virginia, searching for radio signals coming from the nearby stars Tau CD and Epsilon Eridani. Although no signals were detected and scientists interested in SETI have often been ridiculed. Support for the idea of seeking out intelligent life in the universe has grown. Project Sentinel, which used a radio dish at Harvard University's Oak Ridge Observatory in Massachusetts, could monitor 128,000 channels at a time. This project was upgraded in 1985 to Meta, Mega Channel Extraterrestrial Assay. Thanks in part to a donation by filmmaker Steven Spielberg. Project Meta is capable of receiving 8.4 million channels. 
NASA began a 10-year search in 1992 using radio telescopes in Arecibo, Puerto Rico, and Barstow, California. Scientists are searching for radio signals that stand out from the random noises caused by natural objects. Such signals might repeat at regular intervals or contain mathematical sequences. There are millions of radio channels and a lot of sky to be examined. Who was the first woman in space? Valentina V. Tereshkova Nikolava, 1937, a Soviet cosmonaut, was the first woman in space. She was aboard the Vostok 6, launched June 16, 1963. She spent three days circling Earth, completing 48 orbits. Although she had little cosmonaut training, she was an accomplished parachutist and was especially fit for the rigors of space travel. The U.S. space program did not put a woman in space until 20 years later when, on June 18, 1983, Sally K. Ride, 1951, flew aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger mission STS-7 in 1987. She moved to the administrative side of NASA and was instrumental in issuing the Ride Report, which recommended future missions and direction for NASA. She retired from NASA in August 1987 to become a research fellow at Stanford University after serving on the Presidential Commission that investigated the Challenger disaster in 1986. She was a physics professor at the University of California, San Diego until 2001 when she founded Sally Ride Science. The company is dedicated to supporting girls and boys' interests in science, math, and technology by showing science is fun with a variety of programs. Why is Pennsylvania crude oil so highly valued? The waxy, sweet paraffinic oils found in Pennsylvania first became prominent. Because high-quality lubricating oils and greases could be made from them. Similar grade crude oil is also found in West Virginia, Eastern Ohio, and Southern New York. Different types of crude oil vary in thickness and color. Ranging from a thin, clear oil to a thick, tar-like substance. What is a dietary supplement? According to the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act, DSHEA, a dietary supplement is a product taken by mouth that contains a dietary ingredient intended to supplement the diet. The dietary ingredient may include vitamins, minerals, herbs, or other botanicals. Amino acids a dietary substance to supplement the diet by increasing the total dietary intake. Or a concentrate, metabolite, constituent, or extract. They may be in any form tablets, capsules, liquids, gel caps, or powders.
the Chia places dietary supplements in a special category under the general umbrella of foods, not drugs, and requires that every supplement be labeled a dietary supplement. What general characteristics do all fishes have in common? All fishes have the following characteristics, 1, gills that extract oxygen from water, 2, an internal skeleton with a skin that surrounds the dorsal nerve cord, 3, single loop blood circulation in which the blood is pumped from the heart to the gills and then to the rest of the body before returning to the heart. 4. Nutritional deficiencies, particularly some amino acids that must be consumed and cannot be synthesized. What are PCBS? Polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBS, are a group of chemicals that were widely used before 1970 in the electrical industry as coolants for transformers and in capacitors and other electrical devices. They caused environmental problems because they do not break down and can spread through the water, soil, and air. They have been linked by some scientists to cancer and reproductive disorders and have been shown to cause liver function abnormalities. Government action has resulted in the control of the use, disposal, and production of PCBS in nearly all areas of the world, including the United States. Did dinosaurs and humans ever coexist? No. Dinosaurs first appeared in the Triassic period, about 220 million years ago. And disappeared at the end of the Cretaceous period, about 65 million years ago. Modern humans, Homo sapiens, appeared only about 25,000 years ago. Movies that show humans and dinosaurs existing together are only Hollywood fantasies. How is human exposure to radiation measured? The radiation absorbed dose, rad, and the Rentgen equivalent man, rem, were used for many years to measure the amount and effect of ionizing radiation absorbed by humans. While officially replaced by the gray and the sievert, both are still used in many reference sources. The rad equals the energy absorption of 100 ergs per gram of irradiated material. An erg is a unit of work or energy. The rem is the absorbed dose of ionizing radiation that produces the same biological effect as one rad of X-rays or gamma rays, which are equal. The rem of X-rays and gamma rays is therefore equal to the rad, for each type of radiation. The number of rads is multiplied by a specific factor to find the number of rams. The milliram. 
0.001 rems, is also frequently used. The average radiation dose received by a person in the United States is about 360 milliRAMs per year. Natural radiation accounts for about 82% of a person's yearly exposure. And manufactured sources for 18%. Indoor radon has only recently been recognized as a significant source of natural radiation. With 55% of the natural radiation coming from this source. In the SI system, System International D Units, or International System of Units. The gray and the sievert are used to measure radiation absorbed, these units have largely superseded the older RAD and RAM. The gray, GY, equal to 100 RADs, is now the base unit. It is also expressed as the energy absorption of 1 joule per kilogram of irradiated material. The sievert, SV, is the absorbed dose of radiation that produces. The same biological effect as 1 gray of X-rays or gamma rays. The sievert is equal to 100 rems, and has superseded the rem. The Becquerel, BQ, measures the radioactive strength of a source, but does not consider effects on tissue. One Becquerel is defined as one disintegration, or other nuclear transformation, per second. What types of coal are there? The first stage in the formation of coal converts peat into lignite, a dark brown type of coal. Lignite is then converted into subituminous coal as pressure from overlying materials increases. Under still greater pressure, a harder coal called bituminous, or soft, coal is produced. Intense pressure changes bituminous coal into anthracite the hardest of all coals. Are freckles dangerous? Freckles, those tan or brown spots on the skin, are small areas of increased skin pigment or melanin. There is a genetic tendency to develop freckles. And parents with freckles often pass this trait down to their children. Freckles usually occur on the face, arms, and other parts of the body that are exposed to the sun. Freckles themselves pose no health risks. But individuals who freckle easily are at an increased risk for skin cancer. What is the name of the seal-like animal in Florida? The West Indian manatee, Trechus manatus, in the winter. Moves to more temperate parts of Florida, such as the warm headwaters of the Crystal and Homosissa rivers in central Florida or the tropical waters of southern Florida. When the air temperature rises to 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius. It will wander back along the Gulf Coast and up the Atlantic Coast as far as Virginia. Long-range offshore migrations to the coast of Guiana and South America have been documented. In 1893, 
when the population of manatees in Florida was reduced to several thousand. The state gave it legal protection from being hunted or commercially exploited. However, many animals continue to be killed or injured by the encroachment of humans. Entrapment in locks and dams, collisions with barges and power boat propellers. And other man-made objects, cause at least 30% of the manatee deaths, which total 125 to 130 annually. Is there a relationship between the size of the root system and the size of the shoot system? Growing plants maintain a balance between the size of the root system. The surface area available for the absorption of water and minerals, and the shoot system, the photosynthesizing surface. The total water and mineral absorbing surface area in young. Seedlings usually far exceeds the photosynthesizing surface area. As the plant ages, the root to shoot ratio decreases. Additionally, if the root system is damaged, reducing the water and mineral absorbing surface area. Shoot growth is reduced by lack of water, minerals, and root produced hormones. Similarly, reducing the size of the shoot system limits root growth by decreasing. The availability of carbohydrates and shoot produced hormones to the roots. Which symbol is used to represent medicine? The staff of Aesculapius has represented medicine since 800 B. C. It is a single serpent wound around a staff. The Caduceus, the twin serpent magic wand of the god Hermes or Mercury. Came into use after 1800 and is commonly used today. The serpent has traditionally been a symbol of healing. And it is an old belief that eating part of a serpent would bring the power of healing to the ingester. Early Greeks saw in the serpent regenerative powers expressed by the serpent's periodic sloughing of its skin, and venerated the serpent. Later, the Greek god of medicine, Asclepius, called Aesculapius by the Romans performed his functions in the form of a serpent. Sometimes this god is represented in art as an old man with a staff, around which is coiled a serpent. Which structures and organs constitute the cardiovascular system? Technically speaking, the structures of the cardiovascular system are the heart and blood vessels. Blood, a connective tissue, plays a major role in the cardiovascular system. And is usually discussed within the context of the cardiovascular system. Do fingernails and toenails grow at the same rate? Fingernails tend to grow a little faster than toenails.
What is Indian summer? The term Indian summer dates back to at least 1778. The term may relate to the way the native Americans availed themselves of the nice weather to increase their winter food supplies. It refers to a period of pleasant, dry, warm days in the middle to late autumn, usually after the first killing frost. At what speeds do fishes swim? The maximum swimming speed of a fish is somewhat determined by the shape of its body and tail and by its internal temperature. The cosmopolitan sailfish, Istiophorus platypterus, is considered to be the fastest fish species. At least for short distances, swimming at greater than 60 miles, 95 kilometers, per hour. Some American fishermen believe, however, that the bluefin tuna, Thunnus thinnus, is the fastest, but the fastest speed recorded for them so far is 43.4 miles, 69.8 kilometers, per hour. Data is extremely difficult to secure because of the practical difficulties in measuring the speeds. The yellowfin tuna, Thunnus albicares, and the Waioi, Acanthosibium solandri, are also fast. Timed at 46.35 miles, 74.5 kilometers, per hour and 47.88 miles, 77 kilometers, per hour during 10 to 20 second sprints. Flying fish swim at more than 40 miles, over 64 kilometers per hour, dolphins at 37 miles, 60 kilometers per hour, trout at 15 miles, 24 kilometers per hour, and blenny at 5 miles, 8 kilometers per hour. Humans can swim 5.19 miles, 8.3 kilometers per hour. How has flight contributed to the success of insects? Flight is one key to the great success of insects. An animal that can fly can escape many predators, find food, and mates. And disperse to new habitats much faster than an animal that must crawl about on the ground. How large is a Google? A Google is ten thousand one hundred the number one followed by 100 zeros. Unlike most other names for numbers, it does not relate to any other numbering scale. The American mathematician Edward Kastner 1878-1955, first used the term in 1938, when searching for a term for this large number, Kastner asked his nephew. Milton Serrata, 1911-1981, then about nine years old, to suggest a name. The Googolplex is ten followed by a Google of zeros, represented as ten Google. The popular web search engine Google. Com is named after the concept of a Google.
What is nearsightedness? Nearsightedness, or myopia, is the ability to see close objects but not distant ones. It is a defect of the eye in which the focal point is too near the lens end. The image is focused in front of the retina when looking at distant objects. This condition is corrected by concave lenses, eyeglasses or contact lenses. That diffuse the light rays coming to the eyes so that when the light is focused by the eyes it reaches the proper spot on the retinas. Approximately 25% of Americans are nearsighted. How is the term zoonosis defined? A zoonosis is any infectious disease or parasitic disease of animals that can be transmitted to humans. Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever, for example, are indirectly spread to humans from an animal through the bite of a tick. Common household pets also can directly transmit diseases to humans unless preventive measures are taken. Cat scratch fever and toxoplasmosis may be contracted from cats. Wild animals and dogs can transmit rabies. However, most zoonosis diseases are relatively rare and can be treated once detected. Such sensible actions as regularly vaccinating pets and wearing long-sleeved. Shirts and pants when hiking can prevent the spread of most zoonoses. What are the component molecules of DNA? The full name of DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. With the nucleic part coming from the location of DNA in the nuclei of eukaryotic cells. DNA is actually a polymer, long strand, of nucleotides. A nucleotide has three component parts, a phosphate group. A 5-carbon sugar, deoxyribose, and a nitrogen base. If you visualize DNA as a ladder, the sides of the ladder are made of the phosphate and deoxyribose molecules. And the rungs are made of two different nitrogen bases. The nitrogen bases are the crucial part of the molecule with regard to genes. Specific sequences of nitrogen bases make up a gene. What is the function of the reproductive system? The function of the reproductive system is to produce new offspring. The reproductive system is essential for the survival of the species and guarantees the continuity of the human species. What cell structures are unique to plant cells and which ones are unique to animal cells? The chloroplast, central vacuole, tonoplast, cell wall, and plasmodesmata are only found to occur in plant cells. 
lysosomes and centrioles are found only in animal cells. What is cinnabar? Cinnabar is the main ore of the mineral mercury. Its cinnamon to scarlet red color makes it a colorful mineral. It is produced primarily in the United States, California, Oregon, Texas, and Arkansas, Spain, Italy, and Mexico. It is often used as a pigment. What chemicals were initially banned by the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants? A group of chemicals known as the Dirty Dozen were the original group of chemicals banned by the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants, POPs. All of these chemicals possess toxic properties, resist degradation, and are transported across international boundaries via air, water, and migratory species. The convention went into effect in 2004. Since then, other chemical compounds have been added or are being considered for inclusion on the list since the original 12. Health effects of these compounds include disruption of the endocrine system, cancer, and adverse effects in the developmental processes of organisms. How is body mass index, BMI, calculated? The National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, NLBI, in cooperation with the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, released guidelines for weight for adults in 1998. These guidelines define degrees of overweight and obesity in terms of body mass index, BMI. Body mass index is based on weight and height and is strongly correlated with total body fat content. It is used to assess an individual's weight-related level of risk for heart disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure. Very muscular individuals, such as athletes, may have a high BMI without health risks. Since it often occurs during what are fulgurites? Fulgurites, from the Latin word fulgur, meaning lightning, are petrified lightning, created when lightning strikes an area of dry sand. The intense heat of the lightning melts the sand surrounding the stroke into a rough, glassy tube forming a fused record of its path. These tubes may be 0.5 to 2 inches, 1.5 to 5 centimeters in diameter, and up to 10 feet, 3 meters, in length. They are extremely brittle and break easily. The inside walls of the tube are glassy and lustrous while the outside is rough. With sand particles adhering to it. Fulgurites are usually tan or black in color, but translucent white ones also have been found. 
thunderstorms, the electrical source may be lightning. Another description refers to this phenomenon as weak static. Electricity formed when an electrified cloud touches a high exposed point. Molecules of gas in the air around this point become ionized and glow. The name originated with sailors who were among the first to witness the display of spear-like or tufted flames on the tops of their ship's masts. Saint Elmo, which is a corruption of Saint Irmo, is the patron saint of sailors, so they named the fire after him. Where did the term bug originate? The slang term bug is used to describe problems and errors occurring in computer programs. The term may have originated during the early 1940s at Harvard University, when computer pioneer Grace Murray Hopper discovered that a dead moth had caused the breakdown of a machine on which she was working. When asked what she was doing while removing the corpse with tweezers, she replied, I'm debugging the machine. The moth's carcass, taped to a page of notes, is preserved with the trouble log notebook at the Virginia Naval Museum. Is it harmful to crack one's knuckles? A study of 300 knuckle crackers found no apparent connection between joint cracking and arthritis. Other damage was observed, including soft tissue damage to the joint capsule and a decrease in grip strength. The rapid, repeated stretching of the ligaments surrounding the joint is most likely the cause of damage to the soft tissue. What are the leading causes of stress? In 1967, when they conducted a study of the correlation between significant life events and the onset of illness, Dr. Thomas H. Holmes, 1918-1989, and Dr. Richard H. Ra, 1936, from the University of Washington compiled a chart of the major causes of stress with assigned point values. They published their findings on stress effects as the social readjustment scale. Printed in the Journal of Psychosomatic Research. The researchers calculated that a score of 150 points indicated a 50 50th chance of the respondent developing an illness or a health change. A score of 300 would increase the risk to 90%. This type of rating scale continues to be used to help individuals determine their composite stress level within the last year. Since 1967 other researchers have adapted and modified the checklist. But the basic checklist has remained constant. Of course, many factors enter into an individual's response to a particular event. So this scale, partially represented below, 
can only be used as a guide. What is a USB port? The Universal Serial Bus USB, connectors first appeared on computers in the late 1990s. It has become the most widely used interface to attach peripherals, such as mice. Printers and scanners, external storage drives, digital cameras, and other devices to a computer. Unlike older serial ports and parallel ports, USB ports are easy to reach and can easily be plugged in even while the computer is in use. What is the most dangerous poison produced by a plant? In North America the poisonous hemlock, Conium maculatum, is probably the most dangerous plant. The South American lana tree is another dangerous plant. Native Americans used its sap to make curare, a poisonous substance applied to their arrows and spears. It can cause death in a matter of minutes. How much methane fuel does a ton of garbage make? Over a period of 10 to 15 years, a ton of garbage will make 14,126 cubic feet, 400 cubic meters of fuel, although a landfill site will generate smaller amounts for 50 to 100 years. One ton of garbage can produce more than 100 times its volume in methane over a decade. Landfill operators tend not to maximize methane production. What is the difference between DNA and RNA? DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid is a nucleic acid formed from a repetition of simple building blocks called nucleotides. The nucleotides consist of phosphate, PO4, sugar, deoxyribose, and a base that is either adenine, A, thymine, T, guanine, G, or cytosine, C. In a DNA molecule, this basic unit is repeated in a double helix. Structure made from two chains of nucleotides linked between the bases. The links are either between A and T or between G and C. The structure of the bases does not allow other kinds of links. The famous double helix structure resembles a twisted ladder. The 1962 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded to James Watson, Francis Crick, and Maurice Wilkins, 1916-2004, for determining the molecular structure of DNA. RNA, ribonucleic acid, is also a nucleic acid but it consists of a single chain and the sugar is ribose rather than deoxyribose. The bases are the same except that the thymine, T, which appears in DNA, is replaced by another base called uracil, U, which links only to adenine, A.
What is the tallest mountain? Mauna Kea, an inactive volcano on the island of Hawaii, measures 33,474 feet. 10,203 meters, from its base to the top. However, it only rises 13,796 feet, 4,205 meters, above sea level since its base is on the ocean floor. What is a black hole? When a star with a mass greater than about four times that of the sun collapses even the neutrons cannot stop the force of gravity. There is nothing to stop the contraction, and the star collapses forever. The material is so dense that nothing not even light can escape. The American physicist John Wheeler, 1911 to 2008, gave this phenomenon the name black hole in 1967. Since no light escapes from a black hole, it cannot be observed directly. However, if a black hole existed near another star, it would draw matter from the other star into itself and, in effect, produce X-rays. In the constellation of Cygnus, there is a strong X-ray source named Cygnus X1. It is near a star. And the two revolve around each other. The unseen X-ray source has the gravitational pull of at least 10 suns and is believed to be a black hole. Another type of black hole, a primordial black hole, may also exist dating from the time of the Big Bang. When regions of gas and dust were highly compressed. Recently, astronomers observed a brief pulse of X-rays from Sagittarius A. A region near the center of the Milky Way galaxy. The origin of this pulse and its behavior led scientists to conclude that there is probably a black hole in the center of our galaxy. There are four other possible black holes, a Schwarzschild black hole has no charge and no angular momentum. A Reusner Nordstrom black hole has charge but seven no angular momentum. A Kerr black hole has angular momentum but no charge, and a Kerr Newman black hole has charge and angular momentum. What are the functions of the spleen? The primary function of the spleen is the filtering of blood and removal of abnormal blood cells by phagocytosis. The spleen also stores iron from worn out blood cells, which is then returned to the circulation and used by the bone marrow to produce new blood cells. The immune reaction begins in the spleen with the activation of immune. Response by B-cells and T-cells in response to antigens in the blood. National Park Service established. The National Park Service was created by an act signed by President Woodrow Wilson. 1856-1924, on August 25, 1916. 
its responsibility was to administer national parks and monuments. What often happened to hat makers that caused Lewis Carroll to use the expression mad as a hatter in his Alice in Wonderland? In the 19th century, craftsmen who made hats were known to be excitable and irrational. As well as to tremble with palsy and mix up their words. Such behavior gave rise to familiar expression mad as a hatter. The disorder, called hatter's shakes, was caused by chronic mercury poisoning from the solution used to treat the felt. Attacking the central nervous system, the toxin led to the behavioral problems. What are the two major groups of angiosperms and what are the major differences between the groups? Angiosperms made up of the largest number of plant species. 240,000 are classified into two major groups, monocots and dicots. The description of monocots and dicots is based on the first leaves that appear on the plant embryo. Monocots have one seed leaf, while dicots have two seed leaves. There are approximately 65,000 species of monocots and 175,000 species of dicots. Orchids, bamboo, palms, lilies, grains, and many grasses are examples of monocots. Dicots include most trees that are non-coniferous, shrubs, ornamental plants, and many food crops. What are some examples of user-generated content on the World Wide Web? Blogs, short for web logs, are akin to modern-day diaries. Or logs, of thoughts and activities of the author. In the late 1990s software became available to create blogs using templates. Therefore making them accessible to a wide audience as a publishing tool. Blogs may be created by single individuals or by groups of contributors. Blog entries are organized in reverse chronological order with the most recent entries. Being seen first. Entries may include text, audio, images, video, and links to other sites. Blog authors may invite reader feedback via comments. Which allows for dialogue between blog authors and readers. However, once posted, blog entries may not be edited. Wikis, from the Hawaiian word wiki wiki, which means fast. Are web pages that allow users to add and edit material in a collaborative fashion. The first wikis were developed in the mid 1990s by Ward Cunningham. 1949, as a way for users to quickly add content to web pages. The advantage of this software was that the users did not need to know complicated languages to add material to the web. One of the best known wikis is Wikipedia, an online, collaborative encyclopedia. 
although entries to Wikipedia need to come from published sources and be based on fact. Rather than the writer's opinion, there is no overall editorial authority on the site. Podcasts are broadcast media that may be created by anyone and are available on demand. Unlike traditional broadcast media, radio and television. Podcasts are easily created with a microphone, video camera, computer, and connection to the web. Podcasting does not require sophisticated recording or transmitting equipment. Most podcasts are broadcast on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly schedule. While traditional broadcast media follow a set schedule. Podcasts may be downloaded onto a computer or a portable device such as a MP3 player and listened to whenever it is convenient. How many types of sensory receptors have been identified? Five types of sensory receptors, each responding to a different type of stimulus, have been identified. What type of cell is found in nerve tissue? Neurons are specialized cells that produce and conduct impulses, or nerve signals. Neurons consist of a cell body, which contains a nucleus and two types of cytoplasmic extensions, dendrites and axons. Dendrites are thin, highly branched extensions that receive signals. Axons are tubular extensions that transmit nerve impulses away from the cell body, often to another neuron. Nerve tissue also has supporting cells, called neuroglia or glial cells, which nourish the neurons. Insulate the dendrites and axons, and promote quicker transmission of signals. How much does human hair grow in a year? Each hair grows about 9 inches, 23 centimeters, every year. Why was lead added to gasoline and why is lead-free gasoline used in cars? Tetraethyl lead was used for more than 40 years to improve the combustion characteristics of gasoline. It reduces or eliminates knocking, pinging caused by premature ignition. In large high-performance engines and in smaller high-compression engines. It provides lubrication to the extremely close-fitting engine parts. Where oil has a tendency to wash away or burn off. However, lead will ruin and effectively destroy the catalyst. Presently used in emission control devices installed in new cars. Therefore, only lead-free gasoline must be used. How can an observer distinguish planets from stars? In general, planets emit a constant light or shine, whereas stars appear to twinkle. 
the twinkling effect is caused by the combination of the distance between the stars and Earth and the refractive effect Earth's atmosphere has on a star's light. Planets are relatively closer to Earth than stars and their disc-like shapes average out the twinkling effect. Except when they're observed near Earth's horizon. What is the pH scale? The pH scale is the measurement of the H1 concentration, hydrogen ions, in a solution. It is used to measure the acidity or alkalinity of a solution. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. A neutral solution has a pH of 7, one with a pH greater than 7 is basic. Or alkaline and one with a pH less than 7 is acidic. The lower the pH below 7, the more acidic the solution. Each whole number drop in pH represents a tenfold increase in acidity. How acidic is acid rain? Acidity or alkalinity is measured by a scale known as the pH, potential for hydrogen, scale. It runs from 0 to 14. Since it is logarithmic. A change in one unit equals a tenfold increase or decrease. So a solution at pH 2 is 10 times more acidic than one at pH 3 and 100 times as acidic. As a solution at pH 4, 0 is extremely acid, 7 is neutral, and 14 is very alkaline. Any rain below 5.0 is considered acid rain, some scientists use the value of 5.6 or less. Normal rain and snow containing dissolved carbon dioxide, a weak acid. Measure about pH 5.6. Actual values vary according to geographical area. Eastern Europe and parts of Scandinavia have an average rain pH of 4.3 to 4.5, the rest of Europe is 4.5 to 5.1, Eastern United States and Canada ranges from 4.2 to 4.6, and Mississippi Valley has a range of 4.6 to 4.8. The worst North American area, having 4.2, is centered around Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. How were fungi involved in World War I? During World War I, the Germans needed glycerol to make nitroglycerin, which is used in the production of explosives such as dynamite. Before the war, the Germans had imported their glycerol. But this impact was prevented by the British naval blockade during the war. The German scientist Karl Neuberg, 1877 to 1956, knew that trace levels of glycerol are produced when Saccharomyces cerevisiae is used during the alcoholic fermentation of sugar. He sought and developed a modified fermentation process in which the yeast would produce significant quantities of glycerol and less ethanol. The production of glycerol was improved by adding 3.5% sodium sulfite at pH 7 to the fermentation process. 
which blocked one chemical reaction in the metabolic pathway. Neberg's procedure was implemented with the conversion of German beer breweries to glycerol plants. The plants produced 1,000 tons of glycerol per month. After the war ended, the production of glycerol was not in demand, so it was suspended. <laughs>